KNWA Today. Welcome back. Shedding light over darkness. This weekend, an event bringing awareness to suicide and how it can be prevented. Joining us this morning, Elizabeth Gray. She's here to tell us more about this event. Elizabeth, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for waking up with us. I know it's an early wake-up call, but we appreciate you coming in. Uh, let's talk about your organization briefly and okay. how long your group has been conveying the message of suicide prevention. Well, the group is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and they have been actively advocating for suicide prevention and awareness mm -hmm. since 1987. Um, they're a national organization all across the state, and we have um, been here in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so talk about how your group has really, here locally, here mm -hmm. in Northwest Arkansas, has been able to really help people, um, you know, whether it's depression or whatever issues that may be going on in their lives, how you guys have been able to really be a voice to kind of help bring those people out of darkness? Really the most important thing is being helping awareness mm -hmm. and shedding light as far as you, whether it be on social media, providing educational events for free for the public, and our major event, the Out of Darkness Walk that is in September, um, to just really be advocating to help speak up and be the voice for those that are struggling and provide education as to fully understand and um, what they're dealing with. And, and unfortunately, we have seen here popular figures uh, such as Anthony Bourdain, uh, you know, taking their lives. And, and it's, that message is really kind of resonating to a lot of people. And it's that message, what you guys are conveying, is important now more than ever. Yes, it is. And it the tragic deaths yeah. with Kate Spade mm -hmm. and Anthony Bourdain, it just it sheds even more light than and proves as a reminder that we need to advocate even harder for understanding and to provide better access and for mental health care mm -hmm. and just to provide that they that you are not alone, that we all fight together on this. And that's why you guys are holding this event this upcoming weekend, Ride to Fight Suicide 2018. Let's talk about how people can get involved. Yes. Um, so the event is Saturday mm -hmm. and it'll start at 10. I mean, check in at 9:15, mm -hmm. and it's not just for motorcycles. <laughs> yes. We were going to ask that. We see Harley <laughs> Davidson on there. We're yes. thinking just motorcycles. Yes. <laughs> no, um, the event starts um, at Picture of Harley mm -hmm. Davidson and Rogers. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do not have a motorcycle, you're more than welcome to join in a car yeah. and enjoy their little ride. Yeah. So there you go. You <laughs> see all the information there on your screen. We'll have more information, and we see. Uh, can we turn that up a little bit? I know it's loud, yeah. but yes, it, um, yeah, there it is right there. Uh, now, where, where was this event? Can you kind of profile when this event took place? This was um, when the motorcycles pulled out uh -huh. for the poker ride two years ago. There you go. All right, so a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, folks being involved in that uh, and really bringing awareness to suicide prevention here in this country. I expect a lot of folks, the weather's going to be, well, hopefully, we'll hopefully. be, hopefully, keeping our fingers crossed <laughs> with rain in the forecast. Of course, more information about this event on our website, nwahomepage.com. Elizabeth, we appreciate it. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. All right, we've got more news and weather coming up in the next hour. Stay with us.